Hello, free viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And I am Batman the Anime Series Trial. And this is another fan favorite episode because it's just brilliant. And we, uh, in this, the inmates in Arkham take over the asylum thanks to Mad Hatter using his mind control playing cards on the uh, workers or employees in the mental institution. And uh, before they break out and cause havoc. They want to put Batman on trial since Surgeon said the district attorney named Janet uh, something of Van Dorn, yeah, I think Van Dorn, who says that Batman is responsible of making all the criminals in Gotham City. And the ironic thing is, she's the one that they choose to defend him. Yeah. Now I will agree that Batman's part responsible for uh, creating a uh, Two Face and Joker, maybe Two Face, was a little bit. But the others, I don't know, maybe a uh, he may be responsible for a uh, a clay face after a uh, mudslide, but I don't know. And the, the trial was uh, great, like someone from uh, Alice in Wonderland. But I had the Joker as the judge, Two Face as the prosecution, and the uh, Scarface and uh, the ventriloquist as the uh, bailiff. I, I wonder why they didn't have uh, someone keeping the records. I think uh, either uh, Hardy or Ivy could have done that or something. Oh yeah, and I think give a bit more to the Hardy backstory in this one. And also there's a good scene where uh, the, the, the uh, when Dana reveals that Joker actually had told uh, the cops where to find Hardy the last time. She broke out Gotham hoping, uh, bro broke her out Arkham hoping to get a uh, uh, a parole or some time off. And the Harry just attacked the Joker just there. Ugh, it's good. And the when he's uh, talking to uh, the Mad Hatter and him, he's saying that he'd rather, ki he rather uh, killed Alice than let her go. And when I just attacked uh, Janet, when he's just describing the the dog take a uh, pluck up a flower and kill it and that. It's great. And uh, what else going on? Uh, Gordon and the GCPD actually find this uh, bat gadget that Batman left behind when he was uh, taking track of him to Arkham. Oh, I also like to see in uh, when a uh, scarecrow and Matt Hare try pulling the uh, ivy away when she's uh, attacking the. Uh, and Janet and the Scarface to say that she's beautiful, but she's angry and her and the uh, Ivy he slaps a uh, different critiquist. That's good. And in the end, uh, Janet realizes that the villains they make Batman, or the the Batman they make the villains they didn't make Batman. And it seems like. Uh, the jury has seen as well, so they play. They say that Batman is not guilty, but they did a twist. They're gonna get knock them, knock both Batman and Jen off anyway. Yeah, you're already surprised, but still. And that's yeah, hook Batman up to an electric uh, chair or something while he's uh, in a in a uh, uh, one of the Weight waistcoat things or something that they have in no, no houses. I look her dressed as a shirt put on the surgical arts accent when they were up to um, pull up Batman's mask. And for some reason, uh, Janet has a ballerang 
in her coat. They never showed up. So I doubt it before. Did she just take out one of the places where it's left? Like, it think that while well, the bell rang that Batman has thrown, he would, he would have uh, left a few lying around. Since uh, in the sense the father so that it's him Drake as he uh, had one before he actually met Batman, so... Mm. Anyway, uh, John actually uses the Batman to knock the lights out and Batman actually escapes and I just love this scene, this, uh, the moment where Tiffany actually like, lit lights up room with lighter and just the, the animation looks great and it just shows that Batman can take all the numbers of his rogues individually by himself. And Doug actually puts out a gun and uh, Scarface is just saying, Wait, but you hit Croc. And Doug's like, What's your point? And he just starts shooting, and then he shoots Harley, which is just hanging up upside down, tied to, in, uh, on a, tied to, 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 to top on the uh, on the team of Batman. Is there a window holding him? Ugh, I don't know. And eventually, uh, Batman and uh, Janet do escape, and Gorn with the other members of the GCPD uh, get to Arkham in time to hold the villains there. But the Joker has had the last move in and time, or throwing a, a noose at Batman again, trying to hang him over the asylum. It's just good. And that's gonna end with the uh, Janitor's uh, saying that he sees now why uh, a balance sort of violence is needed. But they both agree that they're working for a Gotham where they, where Batman isn't needed. So they said that in common. Now, like I said, this is a great episode. Just a lot of like, craziness. And some of the characters don't even talk, like get Riddler, Scarecrow. A Riddler didn't even show up. You don't, you don't, you don't even like, get the, the scenes where he's, in, when he's on the jury. So, mm -hmm. and I'm glad they brought back a hit him with the rock meme with, with Killer Croc when uh, he, Harley Quinn, and uh, Bad Hatter were screaming what they wanted to do on him, do with Batman. Ugh. And I do agree with the John saying that the members of Batman's Rogue Gallery might have might have different gimmicks, but they they're all cut from the same cloth and would have uh, terrorized and gotten in one form or another. The song just uh, just shows it in the different uh, universes that the uh, DC shows uh, the characters in the Elf World stories. So hmm. And turned out that Janet went through her own uh, character arc in this. I didn't even the first time uh, on the show. She first appeared in the first part of the two part episode, uh, Shadow of the Bat, where she actually thought that uh, Gordon was uh, guilty for taking bribes from Rupert Thorne. So, yeah. And I also love the reaction that uh, uh, Two Face gives with a. Uh, I was saying that the the they will all would be better off if she uh, as he took uh, Harvey out. So yeah, it's just like grumbling a bit. Those are some great stuff in this, and it's really check it out. And uh, here back in the nineties, uh, during the nineties Clone Saga, they had a similar storyline in a uh, in Spider Man in the storyline that. Uh, Try Pierre Parker, where uh, Karen is actually at uh, the jaws and is set in the in the Bell Rev uh, in suit or whatever. Yeah, that's that was some time after this. So yeah, I think it's a bit the I think Try is a bit better. Uh, I think it has to be the best of the villain that team up episodes. It's just good, yeah. 
and we until next time. I'm Sue. See you guys later.